Do you want to know how to remove a moving watermark? Then you definitely can't miss this tutorial. When you open CapCut, first things, throw your video onto the timeline. Now, let's take a little peek at that watermark's travel itinerary. It's got three stops. First, it's cruising from left to right, then it's heading from top to bottom, and finally, it's chilling in the bottom right corner. But before we dive into the tutorial, let me introduce you a more convenient and faster tool. Hit Pour Watermark Remover. So, let's set our editing zone to cover the watermark's first journey. Go to the first frame of the video. Resize the yellow rectangle box and move it to highlight that pesky watermark. Then, just hit the Remove Moving Watermark button in the bottom right corner. The screen jumps to the end of that first path. Move the rectangle to cover the watermark. Now, click that plus button in the top right corner of the selection. Next up, let's tackle the second part of the watermark's adventure. Hop to the first frame of the second path, adjust the box one more time, and hit that Remove Moving Watermark button again. Tweak it a bit, then click the plus button again. This time, we'll use the box to highlight the watermark no need to move it around anymore, since this part is just a stationary watermark. Finally, let's head over to the Remove mode. Choose AI mode, yep, we're getting fancy here, and hit Export. Let's have a look at comparison. Amazing, right? If you haven't got hit poor watermark remover yet, don't wait. Click the link in the description and grab it. All right, let's jump back into the CapCut tutorial. First, head over to the Effects panel and search for the blur effect. Select the first one and simply drag it onto your video track to apply the effect. Now, the whole screen is blurred out. But of course, we only want to blur the watermark. To fine-tune it, click on the magic wand icon in the top left corner of the video track to edit the effect. Then, click on Mask and choose Rectangle. Resize and move the rectangle to cover the watermark area. Next, head to the Mask panel and adjust the round corners and feather settings. Personally, I like to set round corners to 100 for a smooth, rounded effect. As for feather, feel free to tweak it based on your needs. Don't forget to set a keyframe for the mask position at the first frame of the video. I clearly forgot to do this at first, but luckily I was able to fix it. Now, drag the timeline to the watermark second position and move the mask to cover it there. Keep playing through the video and move the mask to the third position where the watermark shows up. At this point, we've pretty much handled the watermark blurring. But we're not quite done yet a little more finesse is needed. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to carefully scrub through each frame and add keyframes wherever necessary to make sure the mask stays perfectly aligned. And that's it! You've now mastered watermark removal with CapCut. Keep experimenting and refining your edits for that polished finish. I hope you found this useful. Please like this video it means a lot to me and see you next time.